lovelies, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna try to make a video with Oscar. 10 tips to look after a senior dog that I would love to share with you. If you're a dog lover, even if your dog is not so old, this video is for you. It's not a serious video. <laughs> this is going. This is gonna be a tricky one for me. Let's jump straight into the video. Oh no! <laughs> Please <laughs> subscribe if you haven't done it yet. Click, 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 click. Give me a big thumbs up. <laughs> If you don't know me, I'm Frederic. This is Oscar. His full name is Oscar de la Renta. And I had him when he was only 10 weeks old. He was a little puppy like that. He could hold between my hands. So Oscar is a French bulldog, uh, born and bred in Australia. It's the love of my life. So I'm gonna try to be structured and not to be too emotional in this video. But you need to know more about Oscar because he was this type of puppy, full of energy. He was a very active French bulldog, actually. And in the same time I'm going to talk, I'm going to show you a few photos I found on my hard drive when Oscar was much younger. And you're going to see the difference when he was a puppy, a baby boo boo boy, and uh, when he started growing as an adolescent. That was an fun part. <laughs> and then as an adult, and then as a old man. Oscar is definitely the longest dog that I have, and I learned a few things on the way, so I'm so happy to share that with you. So my recommendation is never, never trust your dog unleashed, especially close to a road. I've seen dogs super well trained and suddenly they see something and they cross the road. Get a vet insurance. Depends about the different policies, at least before nine, eight or nine years old, because I think after they consider too old, they don't want to insure them. And if you don't have your dog insured, I decided not to get mine because I had so many problems with them and they were not helping me when I had Oscar had some surgery. So the thing I decided now, because I don't want to be in a stress situation that Oscar needs to get some surgery and I don't have the money. So I have a special account for Oscar, uh, like an emergency fund and for Oscar as well. So now if Oscar needs some surgery, I'm touching wood in some time, it will be taken care of, that's for sure. Trust your vet. Oh, that's a big one. And sometimes it can take years to find a good vet. Um, if you are in Australia and you have a French Bulldog, you're completely going to agree with me. Sometimes it's such a difficult breed because they are not very well known sometimes by vets comparing a Staffy, a Labrador, German Shepherd, and they are dogs with a lot of problems. Okay, we're not going to lie on this one. But sometimes if your Frenchie has a problem and you're bringing to a vet who doesn't know very well the breed, he might doing worse than actually he's gonna try to doing well. So my recommendation, if you can, which I've been doing as well, try to find a breeder vet. A breeder vet is a vet who usually works with a lot of breeders, and especially if it's a vet who works with a different franchise of a breeder, or the same breed as yours, but for me, I'm gonna talk about franchise, obviously, that will do it. Oh, I forgot to say, Oscar will be 13, I think the 26th of June, and so he's a cancer. <laughs> he had a lot of problems till now on and off. So now I got a little pharmacy for Oscar. I have a special Panadol for dogs for his back pain, just in case. I have special eye drops for allergies, conjunctivitis. Um, I have special drops for ears infection, happens all the time. Um, I have a special cream for any type of fungus irritation they can have on his paw. Sometimes he's chewing, wonder his chin, sometimes he's red. If he wasn't rubbing his face on the carpet all the time, that will help as well. So you have to become kind of, I became a nurse vet and I'm really good at it. I'm really good at it. And because it's your baba, and you're looking after him or her for a very long time, I can take Oscar in my arms on my lap and he can be very calm, even if he doesn't like when I touch his face. But I know with Oscar, uh, he trusts me, he knows I'm doing the right thing for him, even if he doesn't like it. Or I don't like it, you know, but 
you know. And if you want to give some pills to your dog, the best way, obviously, a uh, piece of cheese. Oh, they love that inside of the cheese. But this one is smart. Sometimes he eats the cheese <laughs> and he leaves the pills. <laughs> I don't have to tell you this point, but cuddles, 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 love, love, love. Is your best friend. He or she is your best friend. And love helps so, so many things. And I do believe when you truly love your dog, hopefully, maybe it's in my head, you can keep him or her for a very long time. Um, French Bulldog are extremely affectionate. They're super, super sweet dogs and they love the cuddles. So uh, with Oscar, we have a ritual now every morning. I mean, now it's been the last 13 years. I wake up. Before even I go to pee, I cuddle Oscar. This is my thing. Problems you can have with a senior dog, an aging dog, arthritis. That's a big one with him. Um, you can't avoid it, unfortunately, but you can improve it a little bit. So if you're in Australia, but I use a powder for the arthritis osteo, something is called. So it's a little capsule that I open and I spread over his food in the morning. In the morning, I give him his dry food with sardines because it's really good. It's full of omega. And because of the oil of the fish, he helps me to mix the different powder. And I use the other one, which is rose hip. Again, it's for any type of well-being, arthritis and um, Oscar was in really bad shape six months ago because of his back but I can see the improvement so it's not suddenly your dog is going to turn into a puppy you know again it's not magical but if it can help him definitely oh signs that your dog is aging well like us <laughs> they turn gray <laughs> they turn gray they lose their teeth he, had, he lost so many teeth he's sometimes on the carpet I found a tooth <laughs> they slow down, they don't play like they used to, and the worst obviously is um, they're getting deaf, that I couldn't believe. Are you okay? No, you're not sitting on a white cushion. No, you're not. Don't put your butt on here. Come here. Come stay with me a second. Come here, a second. Do you think you can stay here a second, finish the video with me? Hey, what do you think? Can do that? <laughs> okay. So they're getting deaf and uh, not super, super fun, but I learned to do some signs with Oscar. So this is stay, this is sit, this is come here. And I know if I talk to him quite close to his ear, he can understand because he's purring, they're purring of pleasure. And I realize as well that sometimes if I clap very strong in my hands, he can hear it. Another problem as well with aging dog, um, and that's the worst for my, to my opinion, is the cataract. It's like a white thing growing up on the eyes, so it's blindness actually, slowly, slowly. And uh, again, you need to check with your vet that you trust that he knows you breed and everything. The last time I saw a vet was last year with Oscar and she checked the cataract. It was okay, she said, look, you can't do anything about it. It's part of the aging. The only thing you have to know sometime on the evening, this is where it's really hard for dogs when they have the cataract because they, they see only shadows, so that's very hard for them. And uh, so I put more lights around for, for Oscar. And, and a few times he went straight to a tree or a pole or another dog. So you know they're more vulnerable because they can't hear as much as they used to or can't see. So my, that's my other point as well. Uh, try to keep them away of dogs that you don't trust or show some signs of aggressivity. Um, I don't have the luxury anymore to have Oscar going in a, in a fight. He got attacked three times really badly a few years ago. So now I'm a little bit paranoid. And, um, and when he has his bad back, I couldn't even take him down in my arms. Uh, I used just to say to other dogs, he's really sick, please don't approach my dog. And that was enough for dogs just to, for dogs on earth, just to say, oh, okay, sorry. Healthy food, guys, this is so important for healthy food. And you know when you have a healthy dog, it's because it's fed well. Do not give any stack to your dogs. You can have a treat here and there, um, but be sure you feed them well and not with cheap food. The dry food I'm getting now is 
so expensive, but I can see by his poo poo quality. Yes, I'm talking about that. You know, you have to check that because you pick up the poo poo anyway. But when you pick up the poo, I can see that he used to have diarrhea all the time, and it was because he was just the wrong dry food. Um, I give him some cooked chicken as well, and you have to know, I'm I was vegan and I'm vegetarian. Um, I, I don't like meat. I don't like the smell of it. I don't like the consistency. I, don't, I just don't like it. And every night, I have to cut some chicken for Oscar because I love him. I want the best for him. Don't have a overweight dog, you know, because that's terrible. And that's how the way you're going to reduce their life as well. If I travel interstate or even inside of Australia, usually I take him. He went everywhere with me. Obviously, if I travel overseas, I can't do that. Enjoy, because they're not gonna be here forever, unfortunately. Yeah, you kind of have to be a bit prepared. I don't like to think about it, but I know it's going to happen, and I know I'm gonna be devastated, but I know it's part of life. But um, the latest, the better, I'm going to say. So this is uh, a little bit about, oh, I knew it. <laughs> What about you sit like that? Human. Right, come on. Come on. Come on. You can do it. Look. Look the camera. Thank you for subscribing. Click, 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 click. Thank you. My mom is amazing. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. See you to the next video. Bye. Bye.